evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome down to Roger D. Williams Memorial Field for the 2022 World Series game number three. We have obviously the Carolina Crush visiting this this game against the Eastern Express. The Crush will be the away team for games three and four, the 2-2-1 set for the best of five series. The Express obviously taking the first two games of the series, so the Crush are coming out tonight looking to get back in the series and, get, and force a game four and hopefully eventually a game five. Uh, without further ado, we're going to get the captains of the Carolina Crush up here. We're going to get Bryson McGee. All right, so obviously not the performance you were looking for in games one and two. Uh, going into game three tonight, you know, knowing that you ha it's a must-win situation, what's kind of your mindset? Um, just uh, battling and uh, giving it 110% every uh, play tonight, um, just taking it one pitch at a time, one at bat at a time, and just uh, learning from our mistakes in the uh, first game, or first and second game, and just uh, capitalizing on that and uh, just hopefully uh, forcing a game five tonight. Well, and we, a game four. A game four. Yeah. Game four, yeah, and then hopefully game five. Um, and it's okay, so kind of talking about your mistakes in game one, games one and two, what do you think kind of, you know, led to the ultimate, you know, losing the first two games? Not without giving too much away, what do you think you kind of learned from those two games? Um, Just, uh, like, not seeing Jackson for the whole second half and then mm -hmm. him coming in and pitching really lights out. So just uh, learning from that and uh, limiting my uh, – swings a little bit and just uh, getting a better eye at the plate and then just uh, on the mound just to, just to stay strong and uh, capitalize when I've uh, made mistakes. All right. Well, good luck to you tonight. Looking forward to games three and four. All right. And we're going to get Brian McGee, captain of the Eastern Express here tonight. Uncle Brian looks like he's somewhere between a ball game and the wood stove with a, a fleece, a, a flannel undershirt it looks like. Um, all right, Uncle Ryan, so obviously you come into game three tonight looking to complete the sweep and win your first World Series. It's your second appearance, obviously. Uh, you've, had a, you know, you've had a couple of good runs here the past few years, and uh, you have a chance to cap it off to you tonight. What would it mean to you if you got it done tonight here in game three? Man, to, to, to win a World Series, uh, it would be awesome. Uh, you know, but like I said, uh, it's just got to play each inning and see how we do. Uh, I'm hoping to close it out in one game, but I know Bryson and James are <laughs> they're not going to lay down, man. They're going they're going to be fighting and uh, that's what I want. I want us to have a good game. I want it to be good. I think uh we were doing warm-ups and and I told them this air, it's cold. Uh, it's going to be a lot different hits tonight. I don't think you'll be you you might get a long ball, but it's going it's you going to have to really hit it. You got to really hit it. Well, um, well, and kind of building off of that, so obviously you know, taking the first two games is a big deal. You know, you have you put pressure on the on the crush. They have to win game three to survive and stay alive for game four and uh, for the for the remainder of the series. It's a must win for them. Um, you know, kind of coming off of, the, of those two victories, what do you think is your mindset coming into tonight? Well, based on what you learned about your team the first two games, um, pitching is the biggest key to to me. Um, if you keep them from hitting the ball. We can we can do all right, but when they start hitting the ball, because they're both great hitters, uh, when they start hitting the ball, we got to figure out something and, and come with something different. But uh, like I said, I'm I'm looking forward to the game. Uh, I think it's going to be a really good game, and uh, I think we we can play a little bit more relaxed, not as stressful as they will. But you know, sometimes when you put the pressure on people, that's when they play their best. That's so. true. So. All right. Well, with that being said, good luck to you tonight. Looking forward to, you, look, looking forward to a good game three. All right, folks, going to wrap it up for pregame here on RDW. Game three, must win for the Crush. Express looking to close it out and win their first title. First pitch will be here next. 6.53 p.m. first pitch on a Friday night. McGee deals. That's lined to the wall. Bryson McGee, first pitch swinging, aggressive, and he is safe at first. All right, full count pitch. Gerald Waits. Popped up. It's going to be a little dribbler. McGee touches it fair. It goes to the backstop. That's a fair ball. And that will be a double for James Gerald. Runners at second and third and nobody out for the Carolina Crush. One-two count. McGee to McGee. Change the arm slot. That's a fly ball in the center. And Carroll makes the play. Gerald will not tag. So that will be the first out of the first. All right. One-one pitch. Change the arm slot, a dribbler. Oh, it's going to go under McGee's hands. Gerald is safe at first. Bryson will come home, and the crush strike first here in the inning number one. Runners at first and second with one away. It is one to nothing, Carolina. It's a 3-1 count, the most dangerous lead in sports. Runners at first and second. Ball four. And that'll walk the bases loaded with one away. 
They bring James Gerald to the plate. Carolina looking to add to their lead. It is one to nothing with one away here in inning number one. All right, 2 0 count to Gerald. Dribbler to the mound. It goes under McGee. He missed him out of play. He runs at second and third. Two runs will score for the crush. And it is now three to zero here in inning number one at RDW. 1 1 count, the pitch. Over the plate, opposite field swinging from James Gerald. It's going to get to the wall. Fielded by Carroll. It's going to score one. It's going to make the score 4 0. Crush, inning number one. Bases loaded, first pitch, 41 to 83. Popped up, and that is going to get down, and Gerald is going to come home, and that is five. So the crush put up a crooked number to start game number three. It is 5-0 with the express coming to bat, bottom of the first, coming up. So bad. All right, 0-2 pitch once more. On the riser, swing and a miss. One away for the express here in the first. 1-2 pitch, fastball outside, swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Bryson McGee to start the, to start the first. All right, two away, Jackson Carroll back in the box, popped up. Juan and Jero can't get there. That's going to land for the first base hit of the night for the Express. 3-0 count, ball four. It's going to put runners at first and second with two away. 1-2 pitch, riser, popped up. That's going to land... In right field where there is nobody, and that's going to score the first run of the inning. The Express cut into the lead. It's 5-1. to one. All right, one to the count. We're two away here in the bottom of the first. The pitch. Two and a miss on the breaking ball, and that's three. So the Express strand two, score one. It's 5-1. to one. Carolina going to the top of the second. All right, top of the second here. Crush lead 5-1. James Gerald leads off. And first pitch of the inning hits him. That'll put a runner on. Bryce McGee will step in lefty now. Dribbler back to the mound. It's going to take a bounce off the hill. That's going to James Gerald is going to crank it and go to third. So we got runners at the corners with nobody out for the Carolina Crush. All right, runners at the corners. Full count, nobody out. Second inning, the pitch. Strike three, looking on the riser. Stayed flat for most of the way. And that'll be the first out of the second. 0-1 pitch. Dribbler down the line. It's a fair ball. McGee's going to cut it off. And Bryson's going to take second. So second and third with one away. One run scores. Full count pitch. Ball four. So Carroll worked it back full but could not complete the comeback. That'll walk the bases loaded with one away here in the second. Crush lead 6-1. Bases loaded one away. 2-2 two -two pitch. Oh, Bryson McGee scoops it, takes a bounce off the mound. Bryson McGee is safe. Gerald will score, and it is 7-1 here in the second. 2-2 two -two pitch. Carroll deals inside. That hits him. That's going to walk in a run and reload the bases. The score is now 8-1. Crush here in the top of the second. Full count pitch. Ball four. And that will walk in another run, making the score 9-1. Crush. 0-1 pitch. Oh, one pitch. Breaking ball, Gerald pulls it, he's early, he will be safe, McGee will score, and that's five. So the Crush put up crooked numbers in five spots, the top of the first two innings, they'll take a 10-1 lead, going to the bottom half of inning number two. All right, full count pitch, ball four, and a hit by pitch, just the same. Now to put a leadoff base runner on for the Express. 2-2 pitch, runner on first, McGee deals. Swing and a miss on the high riser. That'll be the first out of the second. 0-2 still the count with one away, runner on first, the pitch. Swing and a miss on the riser, hit the zone anyway, and that's the second out of the inning. 3-0 count, ball four, hit by pitch, and that'll put another runner on for the express. The 0-2 pitch. McGee deals, swing and a miss. And that'll be the third out of inning number two, the Express Strand two base runners. 3-1 count, the pitch, ball four. And a leadoff base runner for Carolina it will be. All right, 2-0 count, the pitch, and he'll wear it. And back-to-back -back base runners now for the crush, have them in business here in the top of the third. 
high, deep, gone. Bryson McGee with his first homer of this World Series. Comes in a big spot. That's a three-run shot for number 83. That'll make the score 13 to one here in the top of the third in game three. All right, 101 pitch. Dribbler back to the mound. Carroll takes the out at first, and he'll walk McGee back to third. So that'll be the first out of inning number three. All right, first pitch to Gerald. That's going to hit him. And that's going to walk in inning number four of the, of the inning for the crush. 3-1 pitch. Ball four hits him anyway, and that will walk across another one, making the score 15-1 to one for the crush. 15-1, and that'll be a first pitch, hit by pitch for Gerald. Score 16-1, to one, and that is the top half of the third. 16-1, to 15-run difference is the rule. So we'll go to the bottom half of the third. The crush looking to close out game three and stay alive. The express looking for comeback of the year and tie it up at 16 apiece and force extras here in game number three. One, two pitch. Strike three, caught the top of the pipe, and that'll be a backwards K for Bryson McGee. One away here in the bottom of the third. All right, swing and a miss. Got him on strikes, and that is the second out of inning number three. The Express down to their final out here in game three. A one-two count for Carroll. McGee looking to close it down right here. Pitch, strike three, looking. A backwards K for number 83. And that is the ball game. The Express, strand the runner on first. The Crush, take game three to cut, cut into this World Series lead. It is now two games to one. Eastern Express, post game on the field, will be here next. Folks, we're down here on the field for post game brought to you by the NCWB Studios. The Carolina Crush took game three emphatically with a score of 16 to 1. They were able to shut down the Express in every facet of the game tonight and able to survive to force a game four, in which case they will also be the away team. With that being said, we're going to get the Eastern Express up here first. We're going to get both guys from the team for a couple of quick questions before we get to the end of the night here. All right, guys, so obviously not the performance you were looking for. Uh, I'll go to Uncle Brian first just because you started the game and then you handed it over to Jackson. You know, that, that first inning, you know, wasn't like your normal self-pitching. You kind of gave a few more runs than usual. Uh, what kind of, tell me, take me through the process of that first inning where it kind of got away from you from there. Um, we were doing good until we made a play over at third, and when I turned around to throw the ball at Bryson, it, something tweaked in my back, and it's just it is what it is. And uh, it just don't, I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to throw the ball now, but. It'll be all right. We try to do our best. It's what it is. It's part of the ball. Yeah, it's part of the game. And you, know, you just we just wasn't wasn't the best performance tonight. But obviously, you still got a two-one lead. As you go into Game Four with another chance to close it out and capture the title, uh, take me through your mindset going into that game. Um, just something a little different, and uh, we just need to hit the ball. We just didn't hit the ball none in Game One and or Game Three there, and uh, we hit the ball really good in Games One and Two, and uh, we just wasn't hitting the ball. And you got to hit the ball if you're going to score runs. So, you know. Uh, we just got to do better at hitting the ball. So offense would be the key for games, game, games, games four, and then to, if if it gets there, game five. Um, all right, Jackson, I'll come over to you. You know, you came into the game and you, you didn't have a bad night. You had a couple of strikeouts. You know, you pitched well, and then you kind of just had had some trouble on control. It looked like there. Kind of take me through what was going through your mind on the mound as it kind of got away from you when you put some runners on base. Well, yeah, the more when they started getting, I mean, they're hitting the ball, and it's really it makes it harder on you whenever you know they're doing hitting the ball every at bat and then when especially when you get you know 0 and 2 and then hit him I mean stuff like that I mean it, it does put you down a little bit but I mean I'm hoping to change it in this game and you know refresh and start it over again yeah well good luck to both of you guys in game four definitely looking forward to a good a good outing by both squads uh, we're gonna get the Carolina Crush up here right quick 
All right, guys. So obviously, game game three was uh, much better than either of you, yes, uh, than both of you, or was as good as both of you planned for, if not better. Um, I'll go to Bryson first. You know, Bryson, you were on the mound, and you know, you you had a good game. You only allowed one run. And then you kind of put the dagger in with that three run shot in inning number three to you know put put you guys up by twelve. Uh, as you had a chance to kind of expound on the lead there in inning number three, take me take me through your mindset before you hit that deep ball. Um, just it's just a. Uh place factor to this past week I was able to get my head back right and back to where I needed it to be for uh, games three and four so um, just had it was just a lucky hit I mean Jackson's been pitching phenomenally all year and this postseason so he's just been doing good and it just got I just got it just right and it just barely went over. So. I say just barely went over. You got just enough of it. And James, I'll go to you. You, know, you had a couple of close hits tonight. You know, a couple of innings there. You were able to put the fifth run across, and you know, especially there in the first or the second. I'm sorry, you had the breaking ball that you pulled down the line to, to cross the tenth run of the inning there. Uh, kind of take me through your mindset going into Game Four as you guys have a chance to force Game Five. Um, you know, just keep the same thing uh, rolling like we had in Game Three. Yeah, you know, don't change nothing. It worked. You know, earlier in the week, me and Bryson, we uh. Did a quick little practice before um, the this World Series game or whatever. We changed some mechanical things on you know both ends of play. And I think that really helps. So if we can keep that trend going, I think we should you know we can win this game. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. All right, guys. Congratulations on the game three win again. All right, folks. Going to do it for game three post game here at RDW. Game four will be here next. The Express League two games to one. The Crush will look for a comeback in that one as well. But as for everyone here at NCWB, we're going to say good night and we'll see you guys in game four.